Hi guys, welcome to Fast of Ukraine. It's a city southwest of Kiev. I'm not sure how far away it is. It's about 150 kilometers away. It's a city with probably under 50,000 people living here. It's not a very big city. It's a, it's a town essentially. What people say is that they, they say that it's town if it has a hotel and a restaurant and maybe like a bar or two. Other than that, it's a village. So th this is not really a village. It's a town. It's a small town. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to see what sets this place apart what's so different about it and behind me it's a very strange looking structure it's a little scary i think it's meant to scare kids away but um other than that i haven't seen anything crazy there's a a church that's not finished behind us uh, and it looks like it's very very strange shape so far i haven't seen anything out of the ordinary here but well we'll keep exploring and seeing what's out here We saw that it. We saw that it's a village, bad village, poor village with poor people. But in reality, it's a very big city with a lot of stores uh, everywhere and uh, with a lot of uh, people, fashion clothes, with expensive cars like in the city in Kiev. So I don't see the differences between Kiev and uh, the village Fastiv. <laughs> Yeah, so um, this city is very well kept. Fastiv is well kept. It has um, pretty much like new tiles everywhere. Like the walkways are very clean and pretty looking. Very nice clock behind me that like they probably installed it a few years ago. And um, overall, it's a very pleasant place to be in. And it looks um, unlike many Ukrainian small towns of this size. That's it. I think we are located near the famous uh, tree in the Fastiv. It's a tree of dreams. So you can come here and make a wish. This was probably worth the trip all the way out here is to see this uh, metal tree of dreams. So here we are, we're right off the center, right off the main uh, square here in Fastiv. And Behind me there's a pretty nice little cafe, it's probably open, you can have a drink outside and that is a rarity because everything else is closed here, every single restaurant is closed, we unfortunately can't go anywhere because here in uh, Ukraine we have like a, quite a quite a harsh lockdown, it's not countrywide yet, it's regional but at the same time every region is very um, very strict with it. Uh, right now you can't get any food in the, at the restaurant, you can either take it to go or you can have it delivered to your place and that's essentially the only options that you have. And obviously every other uh, government institution is pretty much closed and stores are also closed if they're selling uh, non-essentials like non-grocery items. So basically, yeah, we're stuck here and having to make do with just being outside. The Infastiv, the land of kids and stray dogs and in fact very fashionably dressed people. It's a very fashionably dressed people. It's not like a typical village in Ukraine. It's like a very, it has this modern feel and modern atmosphere. So, so there you have it, that's Fastiv. So here we are, uh, getting close to the car, we're still in the center and I think we're gonna go and take a look around aside from this beautiful downtown in a beautiful spring day and we're gonna go south uh, we're gonna go south to uh to a park called Molodizhny park and that park it roughly around like two kilometers away or like a, a mile and a half we'll see if it's any different than a typical park in kiev we'll see what we'll see what we'll see A lot of a lot of vegetables and fruits you can buy here. <laughs> no, there's no souvenir. I see here only vegetables, fruits, healthy stuff. We're at the world famous Fastiv Bazaar and there's not much here. It's just uh, most places are closed for the uh, quarantine probably. Half of it is, is working, it's active. The other half is kind of closed. But not much here, just like a regular bazaar, just like in any other city here in Ukraine. 
Fastif has a lot of beautiful churches and castles and uh, we are near one of the famous church that called uh, Church of Holy Cross and uh, it's a very beautiful church as we see so uh, we so we are going to come in there and watch what we can see something interesting in it I don't know So here we are um, in this beautiful courtyard. It looks very cozy and it's probably the nicest place in all of Vastiv here. It looks very nice. There's a bunch of tombstones here, about say about 10 of them or so. And what's interesting is that all of them have Polish names on them, Polish engravings, Polish lettering. And it looks like this was, um, I suppose, cemetery here that was added to the church, or maybe was part of the church to, be, to begin with. All of these tombstones have markings before 1900, so it looks like all of these tombstones were around here for some time and before Ukraine formed as a, as a government, as a country. And uh, right over here, this looks like a very interesting wall of, it says, Leon Bojanzik Vroklavek Vloklavek I'm not reading it correctly obviously because I am having trouble with the Polish language uh, but it does have these cool looking tiles So right now we're uh, at the end of our little journey here in uh, downtown Fastiv and we're gonna go to the village river if the river is I don't know where it is, it should be close by, like within a kilometer or two through here and after that we're gonna go to a park. So here we are a little further away on the way to the river. The river is right behind me but uh, it's not much of a river it's basically a big uh, swamp big brown lake anyway yeah i'm a little bit underwhelmed when it comes to the waterfront here of fastiv uh, but uh, on the bright side we came across a pretty nice church it was right in front of me and it looks pretty nice And I found uh, an old exit to the church. It seems to me that it, it was old exit and, uh, and there is a new one. Okay, so we are going to Maladisney Park and I hope that uh, it will be better than this one place. Right now we're finally made it to the Molodizhny Park here in uh, Fastiv and look at this beautiful waterfall. I mean, it's a little dirty, there's some trash, but what can you do? I think for what Fastiv has to offer, this is really not so bad. And it's a pretty nice evening out here in this park and there's also, um, this used to be like a much bigger river, but this whole ravine is uh, is a former riverbed as you can see and there's a lot of greenery in here and obviously something happened upstream that reduced this river to a tiny stream but that's faster for you So we are probably in the highest top of this park in Fastiv and uh, we can see beautiful art Arc, beautiful arc in this place and uh, in this park we can see a lot of young people that are walking around here and uh, play guitar and uh, have some fun listen to the music and enjoy <laughs> So we're walking around in this park and we see a lot of uh, lakes here. And, uh, I see the girls that uh, probably talk about the love and the boyfriend <laughs> and how the boyfriend leave her and she is very very worried about it and about her first love maybe. А вы сейчас учитесь здесь, да? Или... Да. Учитесь все в, в школе вы еще? Не, мы студенты. 
А, а ну, вот еще один студент. Это Жорик. Я школьник. А, так вы однокурсники, да? Вот это школьник, мы с ним однокурсник. А ну кого учат? Я даже учился при этой школе, ты мне не сказал. Ну вот мы операторы компьютерного набора, секретари. Вы все на платном, да? Вы платите все за учебу? У нас бесплатно. У нас тоже. А, бесплатно. Так вы уже заканчиваете или вы только начали учиться? Ну вот мы уже третий курс. А, третий. По факту этот год уже доучился, а дальше пол года практики и все. Прилетел. Угу, а потом какие планы у вас потом? Постараться за полгода выучить еще программирование, заняться ютубом, музыкой, фотошоп, и обработка аудио и там уже угу. как посмотреть. Понятно. А на ютубе шо, что ты хочешь снимать? Я каверы хочу снимать. Кавер, Анимации. Да? So uh, we've uh, had a great time here in Fastive and uh, the sun is setting down and we've had a long day but uh, that's all there is to Fastive and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and uh, let us know in the comments what you think about it and if you'd like uh, more videos like this. Take care guys.